Dear friends, we are back again. Asam kesi e so anaye do muni mese WTV asam kesi e di na e asam kesi e pa. This morning we are discussing another very important issue. You know that every Thursday we dedicate to political issues. We have always said on this platform we are not partisan, but we are political. That is what our father, Professor Emmanuel. Uh, the Professor Emmanuel Asante will tell us uh, we are going to discuss some political issues yes because uh, break kakra na something on Easter so today we are pushing the political issue to a Wednesday so we can make way for the segment we have prepared for you this morning we are looking at something very important it is dubbed this way what development priorities should political parties manifestos contain i repeat what development priorities should political parties manifestos contain t o de betri mo amanyo ku a b c d ku si z o mo kwa kwa tina se na amanyo di sem I won't be born. My uncle can pun to a moka cotrochro, a dear Gucrate be a friend of manifesto. A dear Ben and Kawu winya ya and Kazo Mudishimu. Na sa and some win a yenyan penny for a cuckoo Ah, Womone yang a babby di sa and comui, ain't he na ye co zoom soon a ye a chile funy na papa? The most reverend Professor Emmanuel Asante. Papa. Yamuakabu. <laughs> 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 
Oh, yeah, me hear more dear. And I say, and I say, and then a name you knew a tremu or so for a former general secretary of Christian Council. Uh, so for oh, so for Puni Frim for I know how no child in the amateurs of Papa no more share. Papa no come on, sir, for be a be a way, Mama, or be a way. Yamia Daruma, Yamia Daruma. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. And we also we have, have in the studio uh, my brother Parkwise Shandoff, who you will know is a celebrated journalist. Now, we always want to add the fact that once in his life he was nominated twice for the Kamala Dumont BBC Award. We hope that this year he is going to be <laughs> the winner of that award. Maybe now that he has dedicated part of his time for WTV. So, he's a man of God in the making. <laughs> Shandov, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm fine. All thank right, we, we thank God. Is it true that you, you are a man of God? Let them know that you are a man oh, of God. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm a man of God. That's right. I'm That's right. God. <laughs> thank you so much. So, today we are discussing the developmental issues that we all think should be prioritized in the manifestos as the political parties go to write their manifestos. But some education, when I want us to go straight to Prof, for Prof to educate us on what at all is a manifesto? Any manifesto? Prof, manifesto, manifesto. What is a manifesto? You may ask me, Bray. You may say, I can't manifesto. And so, I have a party be a baby, you know, as I said, with me, the baby, never be a two horses and me bar. Sanya main na mehwe e de aye me de bu o man no de ne ma na o be hwe de bu o man no o se se de di ho de di ho de di ho de na pa se se me ba me so mu ye ne se se aha so so me hwe na eno ehia ne no de enye ni mo ni mu ya na se me ye ne e kwa chi se me ye che se nsi se ya o be ye de ato so da ato ho a eno no be gina so e de bu ni man no and only a friend is a uh, manifesto. Papa, na Timur Mufuo can say manifesto. He acquired ye be be cliche. Say, say be you. Bosre mo kani da esumbi a debi a manyofu esun da ye debe tu ye numu. So so be he mo no na di ye ye a ye di buman. One shesa krate numu kura no ye be be fufro. Oh, we say ni amasa de na bane se. Debi ya me me ni wamo e kasa nse mne se. Ansa na manifesto bi akura bebana. Se se ni omayin shisha ye. Ye wo. Mkulo ya kubi ya ye yi wamo. Ye me yi. Ni shisha ye. Ni ema yi susu se. Wamo ayye mshushye mwen bisa. Aman fwa mwen se sa. Ani ema yi se. Da kwe mwen. Ebe ma ye mwen mwen akoso. Enti nka pati bi beba. Pati no wo hesa ane ema no no. O no so adi anyo no ne 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 manifesto no. No wakase. Ni ya o man si she ye da hoi. Weni 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 me ba. E kwa ya me faswa. Me di be ye gumeni. E kwa ya me faswa. Me di we be ye gumeni. Wa hon ti se. E ba ni sa ha. Ne che se. Ni ya o be ye no. E ni o man in si she ye no. E ni no e ko. Na we ya me ni wo ke yi. Oh, Uncle Fokri di party e chibi bre. Eni o man o ankasa ye ti mono. In di padu do sen o man in shisha e kwa ye nim. In di padu do sen na party no manifesto no kwa ye kan. Nan sen yi, kwa ye program be o baby. Ena na mi bi sen di pana wa honi se mo party mo party no kwa mo di e chino. E kan manifesto. Last e ye o mo di kwa ye no. Hwane kari. Na hwane bit mi atrasi a akase. O mo kase ye no. O mo ye se ye. O mo. O mo nanzo o mo ti wano o mo he e he ye. Inji aye inshisha ya dahoni ye ye bie. Nenso nkese se. Inshisha ya ni jina. Omani nina anye ma ya jatu mse ye. Ya. Ebiti me abuwa ya no. Na omani festu na fwe mne yi. Na chile kwa yin o faso wano ba. Obe ye hao. E kwa yin o biti me ayene effectively. Na man for social ya se ampa. Wede ye se ye tu abano manwa. Onunu biti me amasa anye ma no. Eti me ade. Eti me jina. Ok, papa, mi mi sa wè mfè nkwa tò na memra e ye o ba shandof. So na, o o pa che la na ye wò nse na hò, anna susu duye bi ma o ba o ma ye no. Bikò nan zè na, a man fò bè brekà se, Ghana do not have a blueprint a ye ba, a man yo kwo bi a ba wò shè so. A we trying to say from your side se, ye wò blueprint bi a man yo sem bi a, 
ya chichira togo a enye ABC dia ne mo gana nyina dia ye be fa no a developmental plan ye free titi a gana ba ye no kwa ngu matam ne o seven year development plan okay abai bia ba o ye nhihye bi e de to ha ye o man eno de oba abai we ya a tisu e min ka se abai no titi o man se se mre ya ye wo mu ye wo nkofobia o mo ye sa nhihye no ho adwuma se and so man blueprint said your work and I know Then the attorney say, was a yeah yeah incophobia per se institutions. We create institutions, but we don't allow the institutions to really do the work we have assigned to them. And as one way be beer, yen saka cry and find ye a juma said ye as a There are institutions in this country, ye won't go for my more omu ye you omwa omu wake was a near by near my in ever. Ah omo timishia na bi ya has a priority areas ni into what is the national uh, plan of action as i say the toho i fast we bit me i say e bi ho of course i mean omo e de mama mama ministry ni bi e ye without people telling you say ni o manage she no kind no no omo ye e bi e ye sir but me fi sense e ma o man no blueprint no dead the pefe who say this is what Ghana is standing for no be a so so be manifesto so be defend it no be chere kwan ya the manifesto no bet me ama ya faso ama ye she she na me abaso an ke bet me aboa eno de ye ni okay enti me yes all right all right papa enti no e da se se we we can what clear e ye sir conception or misconception am i so uh, Shando, it appears we do not have a blueprint at all mm. as a nation. Ain't it? From your perspective, what is a manifesto and how will you compare or correlate it to a blueprint that is if we have at all, which Prophet said we do not have? Okay, yeah. Uh, so, as always, good morning to yes, you and uh, good morning. Uh, uh, cherished listeners. Mm. Um, like Prophet Elia explained, a manifesto basically outlines the developmental propositions of a political party mm. i mean awaiting um the an, an election or they are coming into office ordinarily that is the meaning of um, a manifesto but i want to start my submissions from um, the conversation about we having a national <laughs> blueprint yeah um there is a national development planning commission now that institution was set out for a number of purposes one of them is to develop this blueprint that we are talking about. So their roles include aggregating all the um, um, developmental suggestions across board and then codifying everything into a single developmental document. That, would, that, that is supposed to be the mother inspiration for our development so that when you come to a country like the Republic of Ghana, we know that within XYZ period, we want to attain ABC. That is basically the essence of the NDPC. Okay. Now, I, I, if my memory serves me right, during the era of Professor um, Atamils, the late Professor Atamils, mm -hmm. may so rest in peace, um, they actually came out with a document in that particular respect. The issue, however, and I do recall very well, this is um, somewhere 20, was it 2020 or 2021? Back then, in, in my in my former workplace, I had um, a sit down with the NDPC um, chair. Is it Dr. Abram Pa? I've forgotten the name. Mm. Yeah, we had an extensive converse, conversation, and I remember asking him vividly that. So the, the the work that was done during Professor Mills's era, what has become of the work? And it was obvious from the exchanges that that document also for is now sitting on the shelves gathering <laughs> dust. As so usual. there is a blueprint of a sort. I mean, if you study that, I think he even gave me a copy of the of the document, what is supposed to be Ghana's developmental blueprint. But as to whether that is what is shaping our policies or otherwise, it's another conversation altogether. But what, what I realize is that the, the output or the recommendations of the NDPC are not legally binding. Oh, so it is not legally enshrined uh, absolutely, in the Constitution. Absolutely. Wow. So I'm, I'm hearing this. So what, what this means is that even though they may propose that maybe for um, education we are mm. supposed to do ABC or for, um, let's say, in our healthcare delivery we are supposed to do XYZ, yeah. 
a political party or a party in can power decide or can decide mm. otherwise. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that, with the greatest of respect, renders the entire document, if we want to say, um, respectfully useless in that particular mm -hmm. respect. Because if at the end of the day you are able to put something together that reflects collectively the aggregated opinions of the populace regarding development, however, it doesn't feature prominently where policy execution is concerned, then what exactly are, are, are we doing? Mm -hmm. So, yes, there appears to be one, but that one is, is suggestive. So, a political party can come, they can say, ah, well, I don't want to do it, well, I want to do it. But the, the, the other problem, too, is that <laughs> some of the um, 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 policies that the political parties always tease out, mm -hmm. they have um, political inspirations. That is to say, it is to whoop up the populace for them to vote. You and know, and for is, them. That, is that based on their ideologies? Because, I mean, we are talking about the two major political parties who always want to come up from a certain ideological point of view. Mm. Do you, in your opinion, think that these things they claim are their manifest comes from their ideology? Well, I, I, that, for, for that, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Again, we do no, not see them. No, of course, we do not see them. Mm. I mean... The National Democratic Congress, for example, identifies itself as um, um, a socialist, socialist. party. Mm. Okay, now if you contrast it with the New Patriotic Party, who say they are capitalist, mm -hmm. ordinarily a capitalist outfit like the New Patriotic Party should not be involved in a policy like the Free SHS policy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're free. Well, obviously, obviously free not. It's not a capital. Uh, uh, absolutely. Okay. Well, but if you uh, if you examine across board, mm. what you would realize is that most of the policy propositions of the political parties in Ghana depart strongly from the what so -called they, ideology. The, the ethos of those parties, even. So at the end of the day, everybody. So one, we, we have a national blueprint. Nobody mm. is, is even mm -hmm. subscribing to it. The political parties themselves have their own to. ethos. They are they are they are they are now playing in the arena of conflict. Mm -hmm. populism what is going to give me the votes okay but look at a country like China and I always want like to cite this yeah. example why is it that China has been able to accelerate and right now they are a competitive global power is because they have a developmental blueprint in fact they have done away with um, democracy I mean in China there's no competitive election necessarily where there is party A, party B. They have vested the entirety of the country's power into a single um, individual. And then they've given you a tax. We are China. We want to go here. Mm -hmm. We and want we to go there. communist base. Absolutely. Communism. We are going here. We are going there. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you channel all the resources and the energies of the state in that direction. That is how come they are making waves. Because th there is focus. There is precision. You know, and, and the, there's vision. <laughs> when every Chinese wake, wakes up, they know that we are all going here. Mm -hmm. The contracts are, I'll end quickly, is that when you come to Ghana, there is a party that thinks that um, SHS, the duration for senior high school education should be five years. Mm -hmm. There's another outfit that thinks it should be 10 years. Mm -hmm. Somebody thinks it should be this one. Somebody thinks. So because of that, we are not even able to be unified in purpose. And, and I mean, let me cite a biblical example. Was it not God who saw that a group of people were building a, a tower and then he, mm -hmm. he sat down in heaven and said, no, these people, if I do not distort mm -hmm. their language and interfere with their, their unity, their, their unity <laughs> they, they would become, you know, mm -hmm. unity is very important in, in national development. But over here, and, and that's why sometimes I'm not so... Um, um, welcoming of democracy. That is not to say I support military <laughs> uh, uh. You know, interventions and all of that. But democracy is, is in such a way that we don't have a proper developmental path. I'll, I'll conclude with this. Mm -hmm. If you recall, once upon a time, um, former President John Dramani Mahama um, initiated and you know, there was this distribution of RLG laptops to yeah. you know, schools and mm -hmm. all of that. The opposition Agambila back then, stand. yeah, Roland Agambila, the opposition back then lambasted the idea, cited incidents of corruption and all of that. Mm -hmm. Just to now they are ago, the same thing is being done. <laughs> you understand? So what is really the policy direction? I, I mean, mm. can we have something that we are all saying we are Ghanaians? This is what we, we are doing. To do. it, it, it appears missing. All right. Let me go to Provenax. Um, uh, a philosopher has said that the strength of the oppressor is usually the mentality of the press. Is it not the case, eh, Prof? Uh, I'm a woman who 
eh ye mfa mom na emum de ye wo yeti we pie gu om so na omu de nim say yodom yodom yodu gu om so on be ya man so they are really not taking us serious apart from the fact that we do not have a blueprint as a nation even the political parties do not stick to their so called ideologies prof is it not what we give to them as our responses that has to be brave. Um, me give me say me sa idea say this is our ideology. And we should stick doggedly to that ideology, and I don't buy it. Mm -hmm. Maya, what will work for us is pragmatic policies. Okay. Oh, here can be bit say MPP. Mm -hmm. Ne ideology, theoretical ideology. No, and can I say? Social interventions and yet a major aid for them. But in fact, Russia, they've done so many social interventions because it's what Ghana needs. Well, won't you mean my Ghana now? We make it like can say, I mean, my ideology may say, me into me a capitalist, and he's saying it's a capital no more. I ain't able to push it. And see, what we need to do in this country, sir. The issue is not ideology, but the issue is pragmatism. What is it that is going to work for us? But me give me say the me me ne me ne um kuma area green ne say whatever it is we need to have a national blueprint. Ah, you give them America. They have different parties with different ideologies. Democrats and co, Republicans and co, but they have a common interest. Ah. They have always worked in tandem in view of their common interests. At the end, it's money, so so more person, more a you know. That is what they do with the, the, the that's why they are diverse ideological positions. Well, and as I see, it means you be a daho with our diverse ideological positions. You know, me my ideological position, no problem, you know. How is it going to help me? Ah. Blueprint tonight, they are too hot. I say, Ghana, they are not. It's me. I have a human. Mm -hmm. These are the sort of things I hear. Now, the awoke say, people are taking us for granted. They say, Yen Yan Casano, I owe Memu no crano, I say, yeah, too. There was a time before the elections, you know, one of the um, civil society organizations, a year, a EB Walla, La, Mekohoko Casabi, say, I political parties no one manifestos no as I say one more timi a ye ye bonne to in such a way say ye near a man a man for no a ye betu a banning na bit me a tia see and who say political parties ye and ye ma omu person omu be ye ni manifesto no how many people cry omu di parties na chin omu ni a dear friend manifesto omu ni a kwai kwa a kokin kai bi ye wohun and no sani a man em wai in britain no say se party bi I didn't manifest to back There's an organization who by the study after Saturday in working near maybe so in case this is a party be minia. What will be the national plan of action? I be my coin. I'm a son of a man or my castle brain on beat me. Aye, and I think NDPC is in place as in case she ne kana ne ye de lega a ye force be a bow with me. On beat me a Saturday and the amaya na boa ye can be my man can be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Prof, I'm tempted to ask, what then is preventing us from situating mm -hmm. NDPC in the legal parameters of this nation? I mean, uh, you may not be able to have that answer immediately, but I'm still thinking, okay. if indeed, Ebinumwaya, yes, so what America for the enemy, Israel for the enemy, China for the enemy, Singapore for the Tiadena, I or Macron, Kron, Amagana, the Yenti Minaho, and Prof, that is why we're having this discourse, that's why we're having this discussion, say, uh, yes, so, so yes, starting push your agenda, be it, the agenda for setting out priorities for the nation yeah. as we go into uh, yeah, elections. So be a tro tro it be a certain committee manifesto committee or more chairman for any one more kick prop what will be the national priority number one Maji me this and ka NDPC wo ho idea wo mo yo mo manifesto ni nyina wi a so mo wi ni wo mo mi ni wo yemfa manifesto no e ma NDPC no mo study now, on the basis of that, you know, work out together with other institutions, national plan of action. In case you say, 
sa asuma si nini ya pa ya ofaso abiti ma ye yini ni emfaso ade no fa ma ho na che se mo anu ma ko jishe mo ni ma it's not imposed on a particular party but it's in the interest of the nation na o mo timi e de aye adwuma unfortunately no sa nshishe no antimi amba se de wo kanu no e be ti se de da bia e be ye sam manifesto manifesto program se de ye bisa party for no kanza how many people kwa no manya kwa apart from elites any one ma bia o be ka se o be kwa ko bisa manifesto bi no working kind and sometimes even when we get it a penny a dia a critical criticism yes e di puchi bibia ni ade a ho ani ni manifesto so no kwa se de e se de me me fi se e se se ye ma ndps ye ma on the power a ho den a on betimi e de aye adwuma no e na ye we pia rem you know peer review mechanism mo e check it check it ni am be so mo the recommendations no a bar yeah incorporate into the national plan of action mm -hmm. and the pc4 work hand in hand with them no mo bit me aye bibi e bit me aboyen na e ba ne sa sa ba bi bu ne na ya e no ne bit me gina so ne ye de accreditation aban no ana se de abo aban no abaso so o ka so be say what me aye o ka so be say we dey want me aye na chire ye de ntia want me aye um e de be na mo want me aye na de be na obey ye be mo want me aye let us see in the politics in Libya can be mamming can be no we are doing meaningful a in yes a yeti kake be a dikeke amazing very very interesting so uh shandov let, let's come to you then so i'm i'm asking we now want to set an agenda mm. an agenda for a certain national priorities which prof is a look ndp is already taking care of that which one will you consider as your utmost priority that these manifestos must incorporate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I must admit that that that's a difficult one. Yes. Yeah, because um, if you conduct a surgical analysis of our problems, mm -hmm. there are many. So to single out which one requires the, the utmost attention mm -hmm. or the 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 predominant focus, I mean. Uh, off the top of my head, because there are a lot of things going on in my head right now. Yes. I'm thinking, should we channel the energy into tackling corruption? Mm -hmm. Should we revise our attitudinal culture as a people? I'm also thinking, should we even do away with democracy and become a communist state? Shandong, like I, I, I think you have you have some issues with democracy. Let, let's take just some two minutes to understand your reason why you <laughs> think <laughs> democracy is just not what we need at this moment. Why, why do you think so? Because no disrespect and mm -hmm. i hope nobody comes for my head but yeah it, it, it allows for I'll everything come to your head, i'll come to you <laughs> <laughs> i'll come to you yes, <laughs> yes. I, I honestly think mm -hmm. okay okay um I'd, maybe maybe because maybe because you see i don't want to even say it's because i'm a christian mm -hmm. what was god's pattern or god's proposition for leadership theocracy mm -hmm. where god himself out of his infinite wisdom was giving out leaders god was the one who was charting the course god would say that okay israel at this point i want you to have this judge i want you to have this person god would send the prophet Samuel, for example to a household anoint this particular person okay give the mandate to this you know particular person all right why was god not allowing human beings themselves to appoint leaders onto themselves is because, respectfully speaking, when humans have the opportunity to decide, mm -hmm. the variables and the contemplations are sometimes silly. So should we rely on God to appoint our leaders then? I, I, I would say from your Christian, yes. Kind of, so so because, which, which God because, are we then because, going to resort to? Because the Christian God, the Islamic I'll, God, or the traditional I'll, I'll, God? I'll, I'll, I'll come to that Very point. Well. I'll come to th this is a very I'm, I'm happy we have quote and unquote digressed a little yes. now you see in first Samuel chapter 17 for example mm -hmm. we see how um the prophet went to the house of um, jesse i believe yes and you know god said okay anoint this person blah 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 and david was um anointed now look at samuel look at some of the prophets even some of the prophet felt that eliab was more deserving of the kingship because of his stature and all of that also, I dare say that if there is a Samuel in our dispensation now, and that Samuel one day calls you, for example, at a national assembly and says that, 
God has endorsed you mm -hmm. to be the next president of Ghana, there will still be people who contest you Obvious. in the election. Obvious. That is that is the that is the the evil of democracy. Mm -hmm. The evil of democracy is in the sense that every opinion is welcome, but respectfully speaking, we cannot have every opinion yes every opinion may may, may and maybe should be expressed mm -hmm. but not every opinion should feature prominently in critical issues such as leadership mm -hmm. if prophet Samuel were to be here and prophet Samuel were to anoint you yeah. as the next president of ghana do you honestly think that people would not still mount political campaigns and and you know contest no you? i mean obviously it's because and and that that's the weakness of democracy mm -hmm. democracy but the america allows, we are looking at and mentioning now it's democratically endowed. So, so now the question you now have to mm -hmm. ask yourself is that what have been the excesses of that democratic practice? That is why right now, I mean, I think this is somewhere last last week or so. There, there was even a conversation about um, even insects, mm -hmm. okay, becoming um, um, being diagnosed as a, um, uh, um, as a as a as an appropriate sexual preference that is how come we have the influx of you know so many opinions and preferences and choices and predilections mm -hmm. everything is coming to the table at the same time but you can you can't govern humans that way no th there must be a central point is china democratic is singapore democratic is russia democratic Chi china they just finished an election and putin i'm talking about russia <laughs> and putin has won unanimously you, you, over 80 percent <laughs> they are democratic of, of course of <laughs> course so yeah you seem to be making a case for democracy to say that well um democracy is well, better well my duty here is to be able to push you <laughs> <laughs> to bring what is in your mind to that, that, that's fine that's Very fine well. that you're making the case that okay democracy has prospered in um, certain jurisdictions. Other jurisdictions Absolutely. Yes. But you would have to look at the peculiar circumstances of our enclave here mm -hmm. in Ghana. The opinions that are normally pushed and amplified in our democratic settings, majority of them are respectfully not refined. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is what makes it look if we were having just a body of experts or an assembly of um, thoughtful individuals who were adding to the national discourse, perhaps I may have embraced it. But we are in in a in a world where respectfully again speaking <laughs> everybody has a voice everybody but you see talking. everybody everybody cannot be talking if everybody is supposed to be talking we would not have even elected members of parliament all right let, let's pick, let, let's place. pick the thought of prof on this one prof uh, what form of democracy will you will you vouch for and will you even go for democracy you wanted to enter into the mind of uh, shandov and <laughs> <laughs> you have the microphone now <laughs> I, I, I listen to shandov now. yes i don't know me <laughs> <laughs> no we are not in the old testament okay okay our view has completely changed, and we must take that into serious consideration. Mm. So we cannot live as if we are living in the Old Testament, yeah, Samuel, Ebe, ye, Obi. You yourself, you have said, say, in Samuel, where you will be now, you be contested, mm -hmm. but you didn't tell us why it is so. Because there's a change of worldview. The way people perceive things are different. Democracy is not just the type of democracy we are practicing. There are different types of democracy. There are people who will argue, say, even our traditional system is democratic. Mm -hmm. If you have had a chance to sit in a Himfie and Omudi Asemwa, you have no doubt in your mind, they say, they are democratic mm -hmm. in terms of arriving at a decision and all that. We have put in place systems in our country that will foster can be mummy can be right down to the district assembly and what unit committees and all that if it is not working it is because we are not educating our people empowering them to make use of those things so that things will work um we have had detectors in this country they didn't work and so democracy there are uh, different forms of democracy that we can practice and all that we can look at what we are practicing and, and see whether we can add things to it in the Yamanaya, very, very effective one. Our systems are there to go up to this unit committees in the my own in an yeah, yeah. So a bit me a boy in the Anna, yeah, she mukana, yeah, more modern say, you bear educating for no more. I do a mukoko town instead of taking the joy, say, the man cock away with me, honorable people love to be referred to as honorable without doing the honorable things. They need to do more. And no, they say, come on, 
ye. Na democracy dear. Say ye chin democracy a ye na ya babon pa ye question be wa ubi sa and now me makwako bompa and makunya ye chile. Say or no nem ram may president. No be suko bompa and also su in ye chia. Huan de any bem. So democracy de ye kuyemuta in ye bay ju. Apostle Kran omu ye leaders no. Omo bompa and so to do now. And omo to abba. That's right. Then ye wini ye no. And of fire. Mm. Of course, democracy majority can be tyranny of the majority. Say Nipano do don't know I can say majority carries the vote in any other can be tyranny of it. But I don't think you civil societies. You walk other institutions, you walk, say near me be questioners, even majority no crack can ye ni nyewa, almost to me can be. I'll prefer this system to any other system be or be a bit me a can be mammy can be there. And you are there from so be a big no me, a come here good them at a certain time basis at an amen coda and a dear kicker. We can work it up. Then, yes, system my dear, you may yea, a bit my yea, you may yea, I grin it. Yea, yea, traditions, a quiet fast way, taking decisions. We can bring those things into our system to enrich it. Say, yeah, yes, sir, you say, be fantastic. Maybe when we come back from the Easter break, we will discuss democracy. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe we will, we, will, we will patch the good old uh, 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 professor against his grandson, <laughs> <laughs> Shandom, <laughs> for a debate. The grandson, oh, yeah, you're too radical. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right, amazing. So, Shandov, let's now come to um, um, the issue on the table. We are looking at setting our priorities for the manifestos that are going to be written. So, we know that already when these manifestos are outdoored, they will speculate that it is around the ideologies. But what do we as a nation want to see in the manifestos that we bring it to us? Which will be your first one? I, I think I'll, I'll settle on... Um Corruption. Corruption. <laughs> yeah. What about corruption? Do you think corruption must be in a manifesto? The the approach and the mechanism for fighting corruption must be expressly contained in any party's manifesto. Okay. But even with that, as much as I'm advocating saying, a part of my mind is in doubt because, of course, um, prior to um, Nanado Danko Akufado becoming president, mm -hmm. he had mm -hmm. indicated strongly yes. that if he were elected, he would employed mm. and principle for example to you know deal decisively even with to the setting of the of OSP. That. absolutely mm. and we have seen i think we've had this discussion before <laughs> how i mean all the two individuals who were asked to man the office have all mm. um not had a very good day That's martin right. amidu resigned under very interesting circumstances mm. to the point that he even implicated and branded the president as the very architect mm -hmm. of corruption the itself, mother serpent. the mother serpent of corruption. We have now seen Kisia Jaben, who is now at the moment being very proverbial in his language. He's saying that he has become an Ankwanuma. He's doing his very best. Mm -hmm. When the time comes, he will see what he will do. So essentially, I mean, all the two officers that, and all this, 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 are, this were very prominent or these are very prominent individuals where um, the fight against corruption is concerned but how come they were given the mandate and they appear to be struggling it's because we do not seem to have a proper collective national will and disposition to root out corruption in the very first place that is because corruption is a very as it were exciting enterprise it profits those who are in the midst of 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 its of its um implementation mm -hmm. and and that is why a lot of people seem to be paying lip, lip service to it so you hear somebody talking very boldly about corruption but in his or her own circle mm -hmm. you realize that the yes. the action is completely different how do we solve it i'm still on the matter yeah. of corruption yes. so from from this you we can clearly identify that it's not only about setting up robust institutions we can roll out very effective outfits to deal with it but then there we must have be an outfit that is already set for this. already already mm -hmm. i mean taxpayers monies have gone into it and all of that yeah matt recently was even requesting for you know setting you know brand of vehicles <laughs> to aid is you know yeah. working and all of that i mean mm. very fat staff salaries and all of that but still i mean what really have we been able to do it now raises the other question of our national orientation as a people is it not the case that corruption is profitable even to the institution that is set up to regulate and guard against that corruption? is the reason we have to come to the place of 
and nationalistic reorientation. We have to now change how we think. That is the problem because okay. clearly we can both agree that um, setting up an, 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 an office, I mean, even before the office of the special prosecutor came, of course, we have the BNI, there is Yoko, mm -hmm. there is Stratch, mm -hmm. there are mm -hmm. other outfits that ordinarily yeah. could even help yes. in fighting corruption. That is why some people even argued against the, the setting up of, yeah. because they felt that, look, the AG's department is, the Attorney General's department is clothed with enough power and resources mm -hmm. to, you know, and handle all the some of the prosecutorial powers. Absolutely. To so, why yeah. would you um, set up a, 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 an independent body? But right now, we can all conclude that it's not about the bodies, it's about the people, which therefore subsequently implies mm. that we should get into that a state of redefining our thinking as a people. Mm. Question How do we do that? So, you see, um, if, even before we move on, uh, how can you set your questions and answer them? I mean, you spoke about the Attorney General, and the debate there is that uh, this Attorney General is Minister of Justice, mm -hmm. and at the same time, it's also the Attorney General. So you set your questions and you are answering uh, at the absolutely. same time. Is it not the reason why a certain office that solely prosecutes is necessary? Even with that, we'll ask, how many cases have successfully gone through the court? And can the OSP today, 2024, come out to the case and say, look, this we set out to prosecute, we have, we have a achieved verdict, re results, and we have some results. And we have recouped X, Y, Z, so money, much money, and all of that. As we speak, the two offices are, are actually clashing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because it appears, you know, most of the cases have political undertones. So when the OSP goes, look, let's cite this um, um, case, for example, the Cecilia Dapa issue. So the OSP will go very far, then the courts will come and say that, hey, OSP, go back, you can't, you can't do this and all of that. General. Even, even <laughs> the office itself. Yes. So you, you are asking yourself, what is this whole drama? Why, why is it that there are two very strong outfits which actually have mm. the, the potency to deal with the matter, but they seem to be, you know, um, playing, Swear hiding, being. Swear now, being so the, to you, you the think that issues. a manifesto that has corruption as a major issue will catch your eye for it, a vote. It, it would catch my eye, but uh, before it would compel me to, you know, stamp my, my thumb on any of the candidates whatsoever, mm -hmm. I'll be looking at how now they intend to deal with their mindset itself. Mm -hmm. Also, for now, we are moving away from the institution, so I think the focus is now on the, 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 the mindset towards corruption, and that is what I, I, I was saying. How do we redefine the mindset? Because a lot of people think it's a profitable enterprise. They, they think that those at the helm are already enjoying Mm -hmm. And so when we come to the party, we must also have a piece of the cake. So yes, outwardly, their public disposition and posture might be combative, but inwardly, they are the very enablers. So it requires a mental reorientation under the circumstances. Big question, mm -hmm. how do we do it? Yeah. The first approach that I would have rec recommended is that we inculcate a certain um, 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 pattern of thinking through our educational system, mm -hmm. okay? So that when somebody... I mean, and, and th this may take long, but it will be effective. That generationally... Then it can be done in four years. Absolutely, it cannot be done in, in four years, but we, we can still make some inroads. For example, for example, I mean, religious and moral education. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that, yes, there was this RME. I think I was hearing it's, the other it's, day. It's, it's still there. No, it's still there. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Now, there's religious and moral uh, education. Even... <laughs> Some of the test books that I have seen, some mm. of the RME test books that I've seen, and even those ones on citizenship and all of that, mm. some of the narratives have become issues of you know public discourse because mm. some of the authors, in the way they presented some of the things, even became political. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw, for example, how some test mm -hmm. books were were printed, yes. and then the narratives were skewed against a particular tribe and mm -hmm. all of that. So mm -hmm. I'm saying the educational routes would have been very effective, where you teach people directly that have this culture. Mm think this way, be patriotic in that manner. But even the educational system is problematic. It, hmm. So, so <laughs> what, what I, I would say, yeah. because, the, because of the apparent defectiveness of the educational route, mm. what I would say is that we should, in dealing with corruption, okay, <laughs> this, um, 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 Papa will say that I'm, I'm being radical again, but <laughs> what, I, what I would have recommended is that we should... Um, I'll not say it here. So for Bumbo, for we, for we, we, we want to take what will become your priority. So when the manifestos are brought, I mean, whether party A, B, C, what will an individual call 
Emmanuel Asante look out for to catch his eye for a vote? Well, I think, sir, I think I don't know touch it on one of the key issues because we are here to be You see, yeah, the answer if we gather, then the other hand of corruption, a man near ya gather no name, you know. Ah, shit. And he a petty, and he a man in a juma. And the first issue, no mom dear, and get me dealing with corruption now, but. Again, yeah, party B be catching them the way out to home and the way out to add. Look, all go other countries now here, Ghana, your systems in near my year put to in place. There's nothing in Ghana for any I any quantity. It is the question of implementation. Mm. The lack of the capacity to implement itself is corruption. But and yet, is the, the way to home, the way to a base, base, base. We have all those things down there. As I said, it means we can multiply policies and how to go about it. Say, so, yeah, yet willing. If there's no implementation, people have not been tried clearly. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The the problem ever since I told you this one. Yeah, the corruption is not a political game. Well. May cast will be a corruption, but a cassia mature near money a corruption is what I mean to me. And in a court of law, they will deal with law, yeah. And the politics no more, they will deal with law. In the Nippon house for a corruption, I went to me and prove the person will be set free because they are talking about law. And there are no sign of money, says a fair who will come bend a fast war. You beat me a year, you beat me implementing it. But having done that, thank you, you corruption everywhere. May I be here and pa. Youth employment. Okay. Youth employment. Mm. Because so we are members of Brantie, and in Namone, she is near Jumaya. The security of that country is at risk. And near my Bibri, because of corruption, no one can say it cannot. That lack of employment and other things will feed into it. Because corruption, no one wants to be the baby of all day. Corruption is very, very broad. I said, a brave baby by seeing your time, they can corruption. Mm -hmm. You know, in different forms are you? Yep, in the grand ones, but even the petty ones here, a sorry man, a bear casino. Oh, youth employment, a idea me, me, if he say, a year by year. They're tossing your rural development. Rural development. I didn't see them growing in our sorry, a year by city. Because the cross is out here. Be be anywhere be na ye ye we kura na se wo. Ya come from ye 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 ko like na go back to the land, go back to the land. Omo ba umasi ha anas omo ba ankra anko for na address six letter ni ni amane na na mo go back to the land. Ono onko na kura se ono onko onko ede ye muno kura ono kura se wo because ni nam for num bi ko e omo di we na ba. Ono di ono wa wa fa wa fa we embai. Timi mi no meka se. See, corruption no everywhere. No near the butu near me near me into me in Yenua. Can you employment rural development? And that will call for proper infrastructural development. So, so. Well, Sanya mm -hmm. may bit me a boa. So, rural development or what? Me to me crew man as a crew area or my district or many be be a ya. And whom he has a best or a babetna city. Na ako fan sem be bred the social problems that they ba and the moral issues that are raising in your money now will be able to address some of these things. Fantastic. And then money ba kakre ya. I I also I so for pumbe jina mi nuno to to also for Emmanuel Asante the issue of rural development and youth employment will be your utmost. Uh, yeah, be catch your eyes. Eh, make or a bar. Then when it comes to yes, or so far can corruption there, but corruption, you know, can say and so for any infant on can one any means so that it becomes corruption. Uh, yeah, nah, because because it's rural development and it goes with infrastructural development. Oh, okay. Because any and nine. Yeah, it goes infrastructural development. Mm, mm. Ah, any basing a crowd can so develop one. Let's just say I'm not making crowd. I'm not making money. But you be you be co co see any. Near Cocoon, near Mabia, a cost war. You say, a quani, one who will sue papa, yenum, 
any sane man e man nti obi ti ho a no timi ti o sane man should be utmost all right in in in, 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 in your perspective all right so yeah. we are looking at raw development infrastructure development youth employment and uh -huh. corruption and in a year for your bash hand of social hand of has dwelt mostly on corruption mm. corruption that yeah is because they're not so far 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 any sub you do yeah obaguna na abrante nemo we are looking at issues and we from this part of ghana are setting an agenda for priorities in our developmental agenda zero two five six two five three four six one zero two five six two five three four six one and now five zero five three eight three five zero six two five zero five three eight three five zero six two five the phone lines are open obe mwa na welu wa volume na mwa nana nye di nko mwa ene ye koto wa ba obe fa manifesto a king kain anadi a mwanyo fo e kana wutiye we are encouraging that all of us go into the manifesto let's see what they have written shando if you wanted to add a point yes um closely associated with um youth employment i mean mm -hmm. the need for us to create more avenues for young people to have a means of livelihood um, is the is the need for us to reorient our educational system okay because why are young people so many people so many young people unemployed in the very first place it is because the majority of them do not have relevant employable skills and that is what subsequently culminates in the in the in the in the growing numbers where unemployment is concerned and i've made this point i mean over the mm. last one month let, let, let's go to kumasi and speak mm. to kwabnan ketia kwabnan ketia oh kasefi kumasi baby uh you professor what oh, kasefi kumasi for me that's a pa um yeah we resource person uh, so for paying, uh, so for paying, I can, I no cre. Now, so so, me give this political system, no, so it breeds corruption. Okay. Um, yes, the party in here, sika. In this, uh, how is you know your address here? Uh, brother Shand of Kasa, I am so for paying, so why are you too radical? Now, so so, the system is of breeds corruption. I don't know, see a shepa, because Obi, uh, I don't know for Obi, that's the party in here, sika, and that is affecting. Contracts are the ma. The number a year, year, ten percent, ten percent, you know. And then the result is short deals. Mm. The corruption is there. Systemic. In T S C, you dealing with the system itself. We all admire uh, democracy. But I issue, you know, and why? Yeah, yeah, in democracy, you know, is plotted with a lot of corruption. Uh, politicians, a car or mobile, a hin or mobile security. Into the system, no, the system, no, and you can't hold the corruption. Yeah, that's it. 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 Yeah, that's a year society for young and men's fellowship all right so you're on a point mm, so you see somebody where, 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 where he's coming from as well yes we have to change the democracy because yes. yeah, the system is problematic but <laughs> but so you have a vote yeah there. i have a vote no he I didn't say uh, on, throw on, away on the now because i mean he has not been able to define if you, he's talking about partisan politics uh -huh. but how do you equate partisan politics with democracy no, but, but, it but, means we need to have a broader understanding of what democracy, democracy is, is all about. The mm. fact that partisan politics is not working doesn't mean democracy is not working. Okay. All right. So that's also a beautiful. We are looking at <laughs> democracy in, in the form of partisan politics. Mm. What about the other form of democracy that is not necessarily partisan? I, I think we will need a whole day oh, to yes, we will exhaust need, the, Yes, the, we are advocating that when we come from... discuss that, what democracy what is. What democracy is, we have to do. Yes. Limiting democracy mm -hmm. to partisan politics. That's right. I don't buy... Okay. 
Okay. We'll, we'll yeah. take it up. I know, producer, when we come back from the Easter break, we yeah. are going to look at democracy and whether at all we are practicing democracy. Okay, so let's I, have your I'll point. I'll be waiting for that moment. <laughs> but, yes, so to the point I was making, mm -hmm. our educational system, like I've earlier indicated on this platform, yeah. I think, last two weeks, is that we have designed it in such a way that it rewards memory recollection. Okay. That people are in, are in Root school. Root learning. Chew and poor. Chew and poor. Ex exactly. <laughs> so there's no real mechanism to enable people to develop any practical um, um, skills that mm. would make them you know, ideal candidates for development. That is the, that's the principal reason why we are having all the unemployment numbers. I want to cite an example. Mm. Again, I don't mean to be demeaning or condescending, yeah. disrespectful whatsoever. But look at somebody who has gone to the university, for instance. The fellow has um, pursued a Bachelor of Arts degree in a program such as, let's say, Kiswahili and, and social work. The fellow leaves the university. There definitely there would be prospects, but how immediate are the prospects on the job market? Kiswahili, for example, is not a, a, a local dialect, number one. Social work, for example, is very expansive. The, the um, em, employ, employability Probably, avenues yeah. mm -hmm. are, are, are less. So what becomes of that fellow? And we can look at, so it's only maybe your kind, people who do medicine, <laughs> all right? I mean, we know that that, that is direct. The, the, the chances of being employed is direct. But for people in the humanities especially, and therefore I wasn't surprised when last year the education minister made a very categorical statement I, I recall I reported mm -hmm. that story on my journal line but yeah. dot com back then. He said that there is a need for for some of the programs to even be scrapped outrightly. And okay. we must have that conversation. So but, I'm looking but, but for... But the lip service, the lip service, let this be in the manifesto. But let, let's take Abeku. Abeku from Amprobi, I'm sure. Yes. All right, Abeku, let's hear you. Good morning. Good and, morning, uh, Abe. I like what you are talking about today, Pa. Mm. In fact... Uh, the manifesto here. Yeah. I think what I want them to do, you know, they have started. Both parties, at, at least, have started. Are there work of who manifesto? Ni bi na ye hu ya na. Then you. Om oma tete be ya kuwa omoche. Oh, I, I think say ya shere ya shere uh, abi. Yes, my chand of ye ye kasewi na ye ye unko pro for. Yes, I, I was making the point that. Um, there has to be that redefinition. You were saying that, so um, it should not just be about lip service. But you see, some of these things, it must be a national, there must be this kind of national aggression towards it, that all the stakeholders in the educational industry, in the educational sector, sorry, will come and say that, look, we are facing out XYZ program. We don't want to do this anymore. Private investors do this. Public investors do that. The reason we normally cannot come to that consensus, you know, it, go, it goes back to the earlier conversation we, are, we were having. The lack of, a, a, you know, a decisive developmental blueprint. How is All tertiary right. education in Ghana supposed let, to be? Let me pick. Abeku, let uh, me pick you. Hello. hello. Yes. Uh -huh. Abeku, you're uh -huh. Yes. So, let me say, I must say, uh, John Mahama, among a number of ministers, be a big issue. But when we have to mention some number, be also be issue. I think that uh, the ministers need uh, almost possible do. And she said, okay, when we were going to the economic difficulties after COVID, you know, President Baka said, Obeti, I'm a piece any idea. I won't give you you see, it means that they know, say, a spending a call, a dos. Yeah. So I think that if we reduce it, can I have the entire minister's cry? They can work. It means they have manifest normal. Only now, said, they will reduce drastically to mm. about 30 ministers. And and that will save us a lot. If I say, President, I could find you, I will be 100 ministers. That's the actual swap back. Seventy of them times five thousand. It will keep two as a lot. All right. Rather than having hundred minutes a year. Okay. 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 Thank you, thank you. Fireman. Right, thank you. Yeah, yeah, this show. For which I know am I in here? And I pay Professor Tanti, one more than I see a me who has so put me at my uh Miss Miami Kakakani said manifesto. 
Nyami expect to political parties. No mun tongo manifest of no number one. No mun yen national thanksgiving. Cha ben biya upaswa. I was saying national thanksgiving. And at two, say any a few rabia no mun pa mun tasi. Say man rent and got two hundred Ghana, especially single room. I buy me every one tongo manifest of. And I said, yen make sure say. Let Benny the media is him, no, yes, so so ever mind done him, and then we are me fire, more fire. You hear that say, I'm say, dear, oh, yang, a pepper be open with dinner for food, it's rich, it's your no so so, the oppressor of whom I'm first to numen a walker. But, Prof, um, I, I am concerned more with a year, Timon, for yang, 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 already mm. campaign has started now. What year? I'm on your They are not speaking to issues here. What can you rural development, infrastructure development, corruption? And you know, no more can name them a blame game, the sensationalism, the emotionalism. Timmy, before what should we look out for? Prof to your foot. Yeah, the Jimmy said, there are more partisan politics in our country. A year, a year, a year, a time, yeah, man, grow for none. Come in, who ye, ye come, man, you go on, go for boy, one. Na ya kase diye ye pesi ye ye niye. Na mwa ton diya ma manfo. Na manfo wa beye. Na ye se ya bwa ye huwa no na ye koko druha. We ko di we ya tem. Na we yi kasa se mi. Na we yi kan we. Na we no mkro fo na social media. So ni ye se. E mwa ye nkro ha. E ti ama yon fo. Ye sremo. Ye pesi ye tuwa ba. Ni ye yi nkro fo ha. Ombe ti me ahre ye eme ye. E di ama ye. Mon ton mo hon. Mon chile ye ni ya mo ba. Mo be ti mi. A ye. Mommy, you miss some question. And then, now me can't go back. Because, oh man, you need be baby ground promises. You need be your home. I wish you more. You can't cross cross. I'm kind of sad. I said, oh man, you miss some question. Says I did a work and work. I said now, baby, now. You be baby ground back at times. I'm a cripple. Eddie Abba. Prof, I know you're the brave one. Come on, see you. Hey, hey, me, me, the poor co. Aya. Now, besides, you're the back of my shirt now, Eddie. One more one can't hang up on a puno, a dear and a dear Britain, as I say, and a horse as soon as they befra, and they send out the Babefra. These are issues why a person, your politicians, no, Oman Casa, you miss all myself, near no more and cooking. So I'm going to have politicians be a better horse, see, ah, Nasa program to say, yeah, you wouldn't have got down our moon, same Bianca, who be sun in Symbia, over any politics, I say, oh, ha, ain't you know, be service as answer me, oh, ha, ain't you know, can't answer me. Mr. Mo, I'm a man who is in our mind. The most important thing is that we are not at the corner. We are missing our own self. We are not convinced that if we say yeah, we are going to come out with a man, we are going to come out with no man. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Shandoff, um, this will possibly be your last answer. But the same question I'm going to ask Prof. No, see, we are looking at the sending Ghanian. Ghana for you, man. You will learn. You will only will know. So when it comes to politics, it is like we are all swept by the sweet words of these uh, uh, parties. And as I said yesterday, I cited a few videos of Blingy. And at this, and mentioning names and insulting. The issues are the speak to the corruption issue, speak to the educational sector, speak to the developmental issues. How do we orient the minds of the citizenry to embrace this critical approach of assessing who they are going to vote for? I honestly, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly, I don't know because yes. you, you want to, I mean, look at it from this way. Are they ignorant? No, they are not ignorant. Mm -hmm. Some of the people who you see defending very damp and even proposing very um, hogwash policy propositions are the elitist themselves, those that ordinarily we are expecting them to be thinking very rationally. Sometimes, no disrespect, they advanced some of the most you know, awkward you mm -hmm. know, um, suggestions in the very first place. So is it then about enlightenment? No, it's not about enlightenment. Enlightenment is about... Um, the, the fact that everybody is interest aligned, okay? If the NPP is in power, I may have access to ABC contract or XYZ privilege may be extended to me. If the NDC is the party that is running the affairs of this country, there's the possibility that my fortunes may be heightened to a certain degree of, you know, um, mm. convenience in a way. Therefore, let, let, let's go again to Kumasi and Kama. Right. Brown Kavana also afraid for Kumasi. What is your input?
Hello, bro. Hello, bro. Okay, he's, he's, he's gone over the line. Yes. Exactly. We are interest inclined. What would benefit us in the immediate? That is what we think about. That is, that is why um, the, the, not long ago there was um, 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 a community discourse where <coughs> a sister um, TV station placed a microphone in the middle of the market, asked market women to mm -hmm. come in, you know, say maybe something we may have to do one yes, of these days. Yes, so just I mean, share their views on the upcoming 2024 election, who they were going to vote for. There was a particular woman who came and said, oh, on the, on him say, the CD has depreciated, things are not going well. But the current government, the current party, I mean, when she was born, she has always been aligned to the current party. And to see the, the opposition NDC coming into office, as for that one, is something she would never, never endorse because this is how she was brought up. The reverse is equally true. Mm -hmm. There are people in the NDC too who are traditionally aligned in that manner. Nothing you will do may compel them to vote otherwise, even if the party in government, the NDC, is not mm -hmm. doing well. So it's a certain kind yeah. of courtist attachment, mm -hmm. something that people cannot de-align de de from. Yeah. And, 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 and that's L the problem. Let's go to Obwasi if... and come quickly. Mm. Uh, Kofi Bano. Hello. Kofi, we are listening to you. Yo, Kofi. Yo, Pajo, you are going to be so good. Yo, who are so? Kasa. Me, me, you are going to be so good. Yo, Papa, I can say, I'm going to be so good. I'm going to be so good. Now, I'm going to be so good. I'm going to be so good. I'm going to be so good. Uh, what they are the I don't think any Yo, yeah, that's it. Is he so? Uh, uh, Asha for Yo, don't get... was it. Oh, okay. okay. So democracy, democracy. <laughs> so there it is comes a down to the democracy. There is a policy pr proposition that everybody can look. That that possibility, it, it's possible. You can drench, you know, canals and all of that. But you look at the circumstances of no. Ghana but prof was if it's one side, so now the problem. So you see, feasibility is the problem. Mm -hmm. But you see. Now, you see that there is somebody else who is expressing a completely different opinion. The fellow thinks that, mm -hmm. look, there's something that we must, you, we, we should not. You, you know, that, I don't know, that, that's my issue. Sometimes, so I, I cringe because sometimes you sit there and then you listen to what some people say and you wonder, are they, are they, how are they thinking? Because how long would, would this take us? This may take us maybe the next generation or the next hundred years. What is the relevance? Okay, are we even tapping into the sea resource that we have in yeah. Accra? Yeah, so, and Prof was saying that they are, they are one the very first place. Then I what are we like, doing? What you, you know, so, ah, that, that's, that's, have you even forgotten the point I was <laughs> making earlier before the, this call? Yeah, so we, we, I was asking of what we can do or say to members of, of the community who exactly. are supposed to vote. And yeah. I was making the point that. A number of them are already, thank you for bringing me mm. back, a number of them are already enlightened. I indeed, those who vote, I mean, we are a very um, um, intellectually expressive community of voters. Yeah. But how come they still normally um, would give their thumbs to very um, silly policies, so to mm. speak? It's because of the interest alignments. The fact that if a particular party comes into office, there's a certain scholarship that I may get that may advance my education. There's something that I could, you know, come to me. So it all boils down to our, our thinking, mm. the national mentality, the interest, and that also ties into corruption once again. All right. So, uh, Prof, Yebeji, you being a member and subsequently uh, the chairman of the Peace Council of Ghana. Minimsa sumjuedi yehu hiyao pa. 
manifesto ye ye shemu ye mfa sumjue bi bi nshe ni mse gana ye wa sumjue diye but obi obi bo ya sumjue ni hon ba ene ene di kana diye to sumjue ni afutu obeng ana wode ma e ye manifesto committee fu ya e kwa kotina so ni yoma miye ni wanu di se mwe kato prof asumjue hon e hiya ba but you know peace building now we are realizing internationally se nye ne afe ni yebi hon ye ni mdada asumjue any paper pay and echo justice. Would be a com de no no. No more pray a cope a diane a dear diania could go pum no coto a pum, say poor no be fan of cry and numse come a dinum dino. Yes, we are some now co catcher and a samurai. To me, me feast there near my eca who was a mina. A mamu papa a dear so ye ba or em. And she say papa a dear so ye a ba or em. Sa mamu papa e eh, kumwa. Wonga ye yu anso mamu ye hon bae wa ya sou vye hon asem. Wombe nya niye ma wombe timi di aye. Keta se she enti mi mbem pepe pe ye beti mi abem. Ama niye ma yina aye kama. Edi ama ye. Enti mi di mi mi jidi sen se ma yaka hon asem no. A mamu papa ba. Asum vye ba o mem. A mamu boni dija keta se she proye. Edi basa basa ye. Mm. Prof, you better say, you say, eh, save you a year, Kotokua, a year, say, ye did Jinaho, no, say, be Bishimua, na na be Bigumani, Timmy Jinaho, na Kotokua damn pine, dear, ye den, a Jinaho, Prof, or Casa, ye peace, I'm part name, who, say, why are no, say, eh, come on, don't know, we need be video, dear, obey a den, and a way to me, I hear the yes, war ye. Uh, Shandov, I also want to give you your last word. Advise the manifesto committee. Yes, I, I would. Uh, <laughs> for, I mean, the manifesto committees across both parties. Oh, across, all across. Right, would, we we would, are not here. I would, I would encourage all of them to um, not be influenced by the desire to win power come December 7, 2024. The new patriotic party is hell bent on breaking the eight. Ordinarily, after eight years of, 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 of political governance, I mean, in this our, our republic, we've seen that after eight years, you would normally be preparing to exit. But for the first time, the MPP looks like that party that wants to redefine the narrative and then um, reinvent the status quo. That may not be a problem, but it should also not um, prompt them to roll out policies that are not actionable, policies that are populist, policies that only serve to, um, um, as it were, woo the populists to give them their ballots and at the end of the day it will come to uh, nothing. Same goes to the National Democratic Congress. For a party that has been in opposition for the last um, eight years, you know, normally we say that opposition means hunger in certain contexts. That is how opposition is, is explained. <laughs> and therefore, if you are hungry, mm -hmm. you may want to give your best shot at yeah. finding food. But once you start getting the food, you know, that th 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 things will change. So mm -hmm. it, it, it's not out of place to, you know, for the NDC in that regard to also throw very juicy policies and, you know, um, as it were, arrest the attention of the populace. So everybody, both of them may be wanting to do that. But this is a plea. We must look at the aftermath. Because, you see, after this election, I mean, you understand that we all know the IMF negotiations are still ongoing. Mm -hmm. It appears another um, 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 tranche of payments would yeah, be we'll this best, soon, you know, yeah. will be coming soon. That is $360 million, mm -hmm. so I'm not I'm particularly sure. If you look at where we are standing economically, really, the country is broke. We are broken so and we are scattered. Mm -hmm. So the, the tailoring of policies must be designed in such a way that it doesn't yeah. hurt anybody. It may give you the mandate, it may give you the opportunity to rule, but it may sink the country. Let no policy sink the country. All right, so this is a national call to all sides of the divides. Ye ni o chen ye ya doa. E mwadu mwenye na ye wok kwa ye mwenye na ano. Ye di ye nye na ye ebe mu ni angasa ya tu ya nansi sam. Ni angasa ya pe ye shebri mu in sun san so. Ajwa fwo ye damase e ye e nemko mu di di ye wo asem ke si ye sui. E ye ye papa. The most reverend Emmanuel Asante. Uh, he was a former presiding bishop of the Methodist Church, also a former chairman of the Peace Council of Ghana. 
and a member of the peace building of the UN Funding Advisory Group. Uh, we also had here his grandson, uh, Pakwesi Shando, <laughs> who is a journalist and a two-time nominee of the Kamala Dumont BBC Award. Dear friends, we are so grateful to you and very grateful to our panelists for being with us. Watch out for next week when possibly we'll come again and discuss <laughs> what democracy is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Papa and uh, Shandoff. Yeah, that must say Papa, 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 Papa. It's for Sh Shandoff, corner, corner, by you know. Certainly. Yeah, Papa, and therefore, ye knew moon free moon, ye ba na ya babeje, wa green chra, a war bring game no ho, na fe, ye wo bev di, mienu mi en sembi, na fe, ye dia bibua, ye trap to a cra, e ne, e dia mamma. Ye try and wamba ni abe pom.
Nego, 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 hey, ah, ah, hmm, hmm, no, 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 oh, that's the end of the world, hey, 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 ha, 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 Edru baby ya me ya igbe ni edru baby so so a me ya kan ni kron kron se wa ma me kwewu a no ma me asante ana wa ma ma chem edru baby so meti ma ye mfanti ni ni nyina aka ho be that is the diversity of what we share as Ghanaians and the appropriation of our christian faith baby edru baby to be able to me ayo edru baby so meti mi cry ya dang be ni asa so cry ya nkren ni e ja ke gan wo yo ni wonye wotwa abele hu ye gabie enuanom ye da say we want to reveal straight away the brain game and we go straight to the television screen all right i understand before that let's see the birthday celebrations we have for you omo omu di oma woda all right so we have a happy birthday to mrs forgive blibo nyame I'll follow you into the park, through the jungle, through the dark. Dear, I never loved one like you. May the rest of your life on earth give you joy and strength to fulfill the will of God for himself and for us. Happy birthday, my love. And this is coming from all oh, Francis Nyame. Francis Nyame from Gumwa Chianze. All right, so the second one, Mrs. Forgive, Blibo Nyame. All right, so the same thing, the same thing. I will follow you into the dark path. All right, so we go to our dear sister, Madam Kate Ivy Wilson of the Labor Movement Council Connection, headmistress of Reverend Wilson B. Methodist Basic School, Salt Pond. And this is from your son, Sam Jeremy Kobner, Annan, your daughter, Ajua Bentuma, Wilson, and the Wesley Girls Senior High School 1999 year group. You are the best mom in the world. God bless you. And we associate ourselves with this. So this is uh, still to our sister, Kate Wilson, all the way in South Pond this morning, sister. God bless you for your work, what you do for the children, and more importantly, what you do for Asari Kronkron Methodist Church, Ghana. All right, so let's reveal the brain game and what we have for you. The question was, what is the name of the symbol? So now... We acknowledge it, we acknowledge it, and we are so, so, so grateful. So let's reveal um, what the answer is. And before we do the revelation, we want to mention that a few people brought some answers. And we want to quickly, quickly go through those answers right now. All right, so we are looking for the answers. We are looking for the answers. I will push. All right, so there is a bit of a system jam up here, but uh, I think we had something from Osofo Steven. Yes, let me go to yes. So he said that the cross symbol for today is Boafo Yena. Boafo Yena, and this is coming from the very Reverend Dr. Steven Mensah. And all the others are more sending a year and then. Uh, now, okay, so we have also another one from Evans in Ketia, and he is also saying, Boafo Eyena, Boafo Eyena. This is coming from Evans in Ketia. You are watching all the way from Half Asene SHS Campus. Thank you, thank you, viewers. More answers, but me say testing. I but let's go to the screen and reveal the answer for the day. Bravo, So all our friends who gave the symbol, no, ah, mode a dini ba, you know, ye boma baso se muni na mo timi enya eye entrasi, you know, amaya ye niya ye niya so. 
Remember that I have said that Obi Obi Timi Ewi Nibiano, you have a chocolate with me, and you can pass through the studios and pick up your chocolate. All right, so we are saying that Boafo Iena, the reality of a willing helper. The reality of a willing helper. The meaning is that it is a symbol of support, patronage, cooperation, and teamwork. Boafo Iena, the popular kind of expression associated with this symbol, literally means helpers are real or helpful people are real. Boafo and that is what we give to you. Dear friends, you know this program is never possible until the gallant sponsors who have been with us. It is, as always, Downwell Insurance. Insurance mu a kukudam, a chocho ru, upese unya insurance. Asemu ni huame pacho. Kodnawa for her. Methodist, si apon bakwa yefano. Methodist University. We are still on our admissions and we are urging pick up a form. Call us and we'll assist you on your career path. Our face is a multi credit. Omiye Jumakua, Womu Bob Bessia. Bessiano, in Simon Kumebi. Yen yon he 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 so so. I face Sanga for natural spices. Hey, Ediania, you know, I'm saying you're Hamadi and then you're doing a new power. So for all your natural spices and Kunko Chi, a Sanga for natural spices. I face KFK Diane. So Pediania, you know, that da da, me patch on Kodi, Edian, we ma, we moon to me and your name for Uncle Aspiti. Mr. A KFK food. Idea in the Wesley Towers, right on the ambassadorial enclave, it is. KFK. Afe di echwa tokwa MIPL. Mete di se jume kuwa. Se wupe asofu wo e ye kola shet. Afe wupe. Kente kura me tutu kama kama wupe biya. MIPL fo obe timi abo. Afe fugu a ye she. E nina ano MIPL fo ebe timi abo. Our sponsors we are so grateful and we thank you for what you do for us. Ebi mre biye, 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 e no e yasa. Let's go to the Ghanaian proverb of the day. Abebu Ben and Nayadi Jamokane. Ghanaian proverb of the day. The Ghanaian proverb of the day. I say, if a bird refuses to fly, it sleeps hungry. If a bird refuses to fly, it sleeps hungry. Now, the moral lesson here we go. You cannot feed on laziness. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I repeat, you cannot feed on laziness. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And the young come for an anoman to a wobuada. I feel we say anoman to a wojinaho, a ho, ana, ye di a jamo. We visit so madame for me no guys that say anoma etche a wood yaswa, wajabo, memraso, mempesa meche no bea abrome a bobia. And so we see you again for the last episode of the week, the Passion Week, which is a Thursday. Eh, Ochina, we are having the professor uh, Asamwa Jedu here to discuss the matters of Easter, the preparation to Easter and the crucifixion. I want to make a time with you tomorrow. Until then, it is from me, Osofo Ajika Agbamanya Vincent. Bye-bye.